Okay, so I was getting ready to put back my exhaust system back on the car. Uh, I already started it up and it starts good, goes through the gears and all that, but I didn't want to put these back in because I know these are just trash and I didn't want to go ahead and just have an exhaust leak. You can see this is all flaking apart. So since the hurricane came, I couldn't order anything um, to come in. It would like take about weeks just to get here. So my only resort that I had was to pretty much try to find a set locally, but I couldn't find a set locally. So, so my next best option was to go ahead and hit up uh, Advance Auto Parts and pretty much find something that's pretty much similar. So these two are off of, uh, should be fitting for a 99 to 2002 Oldsmobile, whatever um, model, I'm not really sure, but it's 61314. So the main thing is it's actually a bit bigger than the N54 one. But the main thing is the diameter is exactly the same. The only difference is the whole point will need to be made for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do is just like, go ahead and circle this in with a Sharpie in here and make new holes for it and then mount it up and then just trim off the excess so that it'll fit on the downpipe. So pretty much it'll be a little excess on the side, but all in all, it fits perfectly and it was only like six bucks for both of them. So it comes out pretty cheap compared to if I ordered online, I think it's like $33 for each of them or something like that. So matched it up with the old gasket to make the new holes. So the new holes are made. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and start trimming off some of this excess right here on the edges. So that way it could fit perfectly into, not perfectly, but has more room to slide in. So I forgot to mention, it's a 3 8 drill bit that I went ahead and used to go ahead and uh, make the hole. Uh, you could go ahead and use a smaller drill bit and work your way up to a 3 8 That should actually give you cleaner holes. So yeah, just uh, if anything, you'll have no smaller drill bits and just make sure you have like a 3 8 and like work it in. Pretty much kind of eyeballed it and just like snipped off some edges. So the main thing, I didn't want it to be too tall, like so, like where it was. So snipped off the edges and then it's trimmed up the sides a little bit. So it's somewhat similar in size now. So yeah, I just used this snip and just went ahead and uh, cut around it. If you went ahead and use like a, let me see, a marker or something and traced it over, like put this on top and just put it over it like that and then trace it over, then I assume you could go ahead and make like a better stencil out of it, but I'm just like, whatever right now. Both sides are in, you can see fits pretty good. And yeah, I started it up and everything is good with it. So, but uh, this one so far looks pretty good and it's a solid piece of material compared to the uh, OEM one that I had on there before. So uh, just a little quick video on this and uh, I'll pretty much see y'all in the next video.